Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello, I'm Soman Shodia. I'm basically from Nagpur. I'm pursuing mechanical engineering uh, from IIT Bombay and I'm in my fourth year right now. From Nagpur to IIT Bombay to scoring a 100 percentile in CAT 2019, Soman is an ordinarily extraordinary kid. The Sharma ji ka ladka our parents frequently talk about. A techie, a Kora blogger, a curious soul, and now a cat topper. Soman Shordia is here to tell us how it's done. So my internship at Ford, I enjoyed that because that the, it was some good combination of technical and managerial uh, task. So yes, I enjoyed that and uh, that increased my inclination towards managerial side. Then my summer internship at Boston Scientific, so I enjoyed the work. But then I spent a lot of time talking to the uh, the people there who worked on the management side, and that actually intrigued me more than the technical side. Uh, so but that was a good opportunity to uh, get to interact with them and to learn about that part of the business so uh, I, i decided to join time in the month of january but in the initial 2 to 3 months i just uh, gave the mocks to understand the pattern of the paper and to know how much effort i would be required to put in in the next semester where i would be focusing uh, a, a lot more then during the 2 months in the internship i almost uh, did not focus uh, almost i had no time towards cat preparation and then coming back in the month of august i began analyzing the uh, mocks a little bit and then analyzing my week week uh, topics and practicing them a bit and then in the month of october finally i decided to dedicate my entire time to whatever time i get apart from a cats to do cat preparation and analyzing those week sections practicing mocks practicing sectional tests and then previous year cat papers and everything my strategy uh, initially as i said was to observe the pattern and to get to know what are the different approaches that one could have while solving the paper like just going through the questions and doing the easy ones or doing all the questions uh, chronologically that that was the uh, major thing that i tried to sort out in the initial months so that i don't have to give that time those uh, managerial uh, things in the seventh semester but uh, after i began preparing seriously it was uh, just analyzing my uh, week sections practicing those questions specifically finding the uh, pattern in the terms of mistakes that i'm making and then trying to rectify that i also uh, I started reading uh, some books to increase my reading speed that uh, helped me in the verbal section and and some of my friends were preparing for GRE so I used to sit with them just to uh, increase my vocabulary a little bit in terms of the three sections in cat the verbal ability and uh, reasoning comprehension was the was the weakest and uh, that i believe is a bit common with engineers specifically so initial uh, in the i think the problem lies basically because we are not used to reading such articles or such complex statements and uh, we have been studying maths and science majorly since two years and four years at the college so being out of touch of all these things literature and everything is the reason that it becomes difficult also the vocabulary is uh, a little bit more than what we usually are taught in school so these things make it difficult uh, how did i uh, improve it so Uh, again finding a, a, a pattern in terms of the mistakes that i made uh, was the key so what i realized was the verbal section required a certain kind of thinking and perspective with which you need to look at the passage and the questions since uh, generally there are two options that you can eliminate easily and then there's two in which you have to decide which one to mark as the correct option and i usually get used to get the other one uh, and mark the other one and then get it wrong but then i uh, then i decided to solve a lot of questions of similar type together so that i can uh, track the pattern and then just a, a shift in terms of thinking uh, gave me the major boost in terms of the score so in the dilr and con section i was comfortable from the beginning but uh, in con section i had to revise some of the topics which i was out of touch uh, for like simple interest compound interest and then arithmetic progression such such things that have some formulas with which you can solve questions uh, faster uh so the memorizing those formulas was the first step and then then giving the mocks then after giving the mocks i identified those areas wherein i re- i felt that maybe practicing more questions would uh, save me time 
since in quant uh, it was in something like i wouldn't be able to solve a question but the only time was the constraint and of course uh, having been trained in abacus helped me a lot lrdi uh, i i actually enjoyed the, that section the most because that's closest to puzzle solving which which i have been interested in uh, since school days so yeah it was fun actually practicing that but uh, for cat uh, on a uh, i mean while well preparing seriously for cat it was uh, just solving different type of dilr questions that are uh, generally asked in cat and then uh, practice practice was majorly through mocks no special attention was given to that section from what i had observed through the mocks that i have given and the the faculty that to, that what they had told me in time was that in con section geometry mensuration is something that has been increasingly asked in uh, cat but uh, then in this cat uh, cat 2019 what i felt was that uh, questions involving simple equations were uh, more common so what my strategy was to since since i was comfortable with uh, comfortable with lr questions i used to look at lr questions first and see the easy ones and then keep the di ones uh, for the end because uh, since uh, in the end if i'm left with uh, a time uh, like 3 3 or 4 minutes wherein i know i can't solve the entire set so if i have a di question left i can at least uh, attempt two of them two of the four in vrc section there are two to three strategies that i uh, that i heard about one was to simply read the passage and then go towards the questions and come back to find the specific answers another was to first read the questions and then read the passage and then uh, directly answer the questions and another interesting one that i got to know was to read the first and last sentence of every paragraph and then just uh, Uh, just have an idea about where the question would be from after reading question and then just find the answer but i find found myself more comfortable in reading the entire passage understand the mood and gist of the passage and then answer the questions uh, by coming back but uh, this this is advisable only if you have satisfactory reading speed because it requires a lot of time as vrc was my weakest section of the three so the percentile that i used to get initially was about 95 96 uh, percentile and then it it initially increased at a very low pace but after i got a hang of it it increased uh, it increased very well and till the mocks that i gave towards the end it reached to about 99.5 but uh, on the day of cat this this specific section which i was the most concerned about went very well and i got 99.93 which was actually even more than what i got in dilr but in dilr and con section i was very comfortable since the beginning and i used to get somewhere about 99 percentile and then with practice it increased to 99.98 uh, so my percentile in the final cat was in vrc 99.93 in dlr 99.88 and in con 99.98 actually interestingly uh, my confidence before i started preparing was higher than after i had actually been preparing for months because initially i thought that uh, okay i'll be able to perform good since con and dlr already uh, are good I'm, and i'm comfortable with but uh, then as the percentiles came out to, through the mocks I I was never confident that I would be able to score hundred percentile because the the best percentile that I that I got was ninety nine point eight and the second best ninety one ninety nine point three, so I wasn't expecting such a good score. But uh, fortunately, on the day of exam, maybe my concentration level was higher and I was a bit more serious when I was giving the paper. It went very well. Uh, so actually, the last mock that I gave, which was two to three days before the actual CAT, I performed horribly in that, and that actually uh, was a shock to me, and uh, that lowered my confidence considerably. Seeing my friends performing very well, and I not even performing my my as I was as I, as I have been previously, my performance actually deteriorated in the last mock. So uh, I came back to the room, and I was actually thinking that. i'm actually good enough to to perform good or or have i not been uh, practicing a lot am i not working hard enough and all that so but then after thinking for a day about all these negative thoughts i just thought that uh, whatever the case may be this is what i have and there are two days left so i'll just give my best in whatever time i have and then uh, leave the rest
in my uh, sixth semester uh, i didn't uh, devote much time to cat preparation so it wasn't problem then but in my seventh semester since i knew i i would be appearing for placements and i had to give time for cat i took up courses uh, which are electives optional courses which required less effort for uh, equally good grades and i also took one or two courses lesser than usual so that helped me carve out time uh, to prepare for cat so it was especially during the end sims which which was uh which ended on 22nd and cat was on 24th so we had exams going on so during that time since that was the last one or two weeks before the cat i had prioritized cat and uh, so i had ensured that i score good marks in the quiz and internal papers that we had so that i can uh, be less serious about uh, the end sims so and since the our grades for placements were freezed I didn't care much about the grades since they weren't reflecting in the resume. So yeah, uh, my friend Rahul Manglik, who has also scored a good uh, percentile, which is 99.99 in CAT, was a very close friend of mine. Is a very close friend of mine, and we studied together, uh, where we were together uh, while we were giving the mocks and analyzing the mocks. Specifically, we used to analyze the VRC section because both of us were, were weak in them, and there were some questions which he would do incorrectly, and I would do correctly, and vice versa. So, uh, getting those questions right was easy since he knew what the right approach was. And in DLR and Con section, even he was very comfortable with it. So, both were sco uh, scoring good, and so we were on our toes while competing with each other, and that kept both of us motivated. I've got calls from I'm Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Lucknow. and cozy code currently and i'm waiting for i'm bangalore's call uh, one of the uh, thing that helped me a lot uh, in the process of cat preparation was that i i loved the pattern that the cat paper has and i realized that the skills that i would be developing through the process uh, are essential in life as well so that kept me motivated for uh, preparing for the exam and giving time for that since it was not just for scoring good marks but the skills were actually useful so this is something which would be essential since keeping yourself motivated is is very important especially in competitive exams where uh, giving up is uh, we having a thought of giving up is very common other than this i believe uh, cat is relatively an easy paper and it's the competition that makes it tough so after uh, an initial learning the initial concepts and everything practice is the key and that has no substitute so i would say being motivated keeping yourself motivated and practicing a lot is the key